Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here, answering your questions today. Today's question is on my college baseball career and my statistics in college baseball. I get, I've gotten asked a lot recently, you know, what were my stats like during my, my college career at Wake Forest? And so I went online here and found a pretty good breakdown of my three years at Wake Forest. I haven't actually looked at all of my stats before, so I'm kind of interested to do this also. Um, and this thing here gives a little gives a little rundown of um, pretty much my three years there, and I'm going to fill in some of the details here also. So starting off, um, the first <laughs> first thing I realized is this hat right here. This is the worst hat of all time. This hat, I don't know why, whatever they made it out of would not stay on your head. So the thing just flew, every time I threw a ball, my hat would fall off. So I ended up having to wear sunglasses on them. Even though I never put sunglasses on my eyes, I always wore them on my hat because that's the only way I kept my hat down. Plus, I, you can see my hair was starting to grow here. My hair gets way longer than this. Um, three of my teammates, two of my best friends on the team, we all made a bet to see who could go the longest without cutting their hair. I think I went like a year. This is like nowhere close to where this is at the very beginning, but it got really long. So anyways, okay, let's see. Let's look down here first. So this kind of breakdown, um, this is... You know, they put this out right when I got drafted. Wake Forest did, I believe. Third baseman, PBD Mass. mass. Um, I'll just read. This is kind of like a quick breakdown. So, um, you know, sensation, sensational athlete with the ability to play all over the diamond. Uh, starting all 163 games with the Demon Deacons in the past three years. So I never missed a college game. I never missed a game in my life. In high school, I never missed a football, hockey, or baseball game of high school. Even when I would get, like, banged up, I just never... Never really got hurt at all. Uh, was always able to play. Never missed a game in college. Hurt my hamstring a little bit my junior year, but played through it. So, um, you know, a lot of people talk about my injuries in pro ball and how I was really injury prone and stuff. I went like 20 years without ever missing a single game of anything. And then all of a sudden I started getting injured in pro ball. So I uh, finished the career with a 324 batting average, 18 home runs, 110 RBIs, 46 stolen bases, which... Oh, no. And then I set a new school record with 128 walks, surpassing Jamie D'Antona of 113. So we talked about it before how, um, you know, my best skill was getting on base and not swinging at balls and walking, which, you know, I, I think one year I was almost, I think I was top two in the country in walks my sophomore year and then broke the school record. Sam's going top three in three different categories. Um, 2009 set the school record with 57 walks, but also scored 68 runs, registered 22 doubles, played in the Cape Cod League, um, and I was an all-star both the years there. All right, I was 19th round pick of the Los Angeles Dodgers, three-sport prep superstar, okay? Uh, Massachusetts Player of the Year in football and hockey, runner-up in baseball. We talked about this. I was I was the Player of the Year in football, was not in hockey. I was, like, on the All-State team, and they always say I was the Player of the Year, but I wasn't. Um, I'll take it, but I was not. Uh, Run-up in baseball and a communications major. I was a communications major. I went in as a business major and soon realized I was not suited to be a business major at Wake Forest. And uh, all of my teammates said, you're an idiot. Go be a communications major. It's way easier. And so I did that. I just tell everyone I majored in baseball anyway. So um, that's that. Okay, now let's go down here a little bit. And we're not going to go through all of these years right here. Um, just because I talk about like a lot of, I mean, it take a while to get through all that. Um, so let's go down here. Let's actually check this out prior to Wake Forest. I've not seen this before. So raised the 63rd player nationally by Perfect Game Scouting Report. I had no idea that I was rated the 63rd player nationally. Apparently I was, I don't know. Named all scholastic by the Boston Herald. Uh, led St. John's prep and average stolen bases, slugging percentage, on base percentage. Finished high school as a 12 time letter winner. Played for the prestigious summer league team, the Ohio Warhawks. So I've talked about all of that stuff before. Um, let's go to career game highs real quick because I have not seen this before either. So I had eight at-bats, 
versus Florida State. This game was terrible, actually. They We went into, I don't know how many innings we played, like 17 innings or something against them, and they intentionally walked the hitter before me, Alan Dykstra, who was also a first-round pick, twice to get to me. And I just could not get a hit. I wanted to get a hit so badly. I think I was trying way too hard because Mike Martin was really peeing me off that he kept walking Dykstra to get to me, and I just could not, I could not get a hit. Five runs against Virginia, hits four, seven times Virginia Tech. I always crush Virginia Tech. I don't know why. I just always hit the ball well against them, especially my junior year. Um, home runs twice, Virginia Tech, yeah. RBS five, twice, right state. Stone bases three, twice. Blah, blah. Hit streak 13 games. Okay. So now let's get into the actual career statistics. Um, so let's see here. You can see how my sophomore year, um, was it was I'm not gonna say it was my best year because uh, my power numbers went way up my home run numbers went way up here But let's actually take it year by year. So in 2004 um, Hit 305 played in all 50 games. We didn't make it very far this year as you can see um, 203 at bats. So all these statistics my, my power numbers you can see are really low. So only seven doubles only two home runs um, Walked a good amount of time, still had a good on-base percentage, stole almost 20 bases. So I just didn't have power numbers there. And we've talked about that before. I wasn't very big and strong and um, started to get bigger the next year. And so hit 332 this year. Um, so my average went up. My at-bats, obviously, we played a few more games this year. Um, scored a ton of runs, had a lot of hits, hit a lot of doubles. 22 doubles was my career high. Two triples. Five home runs, so power numbers started to go up a little bit here. You can see my slugging, how it jumped a lot from 369 to 509. My walks were ridiculous this year, so I walked a ton and slugged much better. So this this may have been my best year all around. I don't know. Um, uh, let's see. 13 stolen bases, so didn't steal as much that year. And then 2016... Uh, my average did not go very much. My average was so high for most of the year, and then I just fell apart like the last week or two, probably two weeks of the season were terrible. You know, I was up, I was, I, know, I remember being up at like 370, 380 for a lot of the year. Um, but then I just, I don't know, it was a bad last two weeks of the season for a host of reasons. We'll get into that another time. Uh, let's see. So runs were pretty much the same. Hits were almost the same as the year before. Doubles were almost the same. I hit a lot more home runs. So I had like 10 at the halfway point, I think. And then I only hit one. I, told you, I had a bad last few weeks of the season. RBIs were pretty bad for somebody to hit 11 home runs. only have 38 RBIs. I slugged really high. Did not walk as much. Um, so I tried to drive in more runs here. They hit me in the three hole this season. And I tried, to, I tried a little bit more to drive in runs and to be more aggressive and... Um, I've always been a patient hitter. Our coach kind of wanted me to be more aggressive, wanted me to drive in the runs, and for some reason, I just was always better as a leadoff guy, so they ended up moving me back to the leadoff spot. Um, and then 439 on base, so my on base went down, obviously, because I didn't walk as much, and then only 15 stolen bases this year. This year, I actually probably could have stolen a few more. I hurt my hamstring and didn't really try to run as much this year um, as I had in the past, although I only had 13 stolen bases here, but... Um, kind of kept me from stealing as many bases as I kind of wanted to. And so that's my career right there. I ended up 324, um, tons of walks, not a lot of home runs, only 18 career home runs. And again, I hit a majority of them this year right here, my third year. So there's my college statistics. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any more questions, and I can try to help you guys out. Again, thank you for watching the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up. Share a video with all your friends. Check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff going on there for you guys. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. We've got um, our Patreon page where you can help support the channel and a bunch of other things. And that's all I got. Thank you again. I appreciate it. And we will talk to you later.